on today's ProPresenter show. The macOS Sierra setting that might be causing you to lose media and other files in ProPresenter. Hi and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where every week I help you with Renewed Vision's great presentation software, Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. So I keep hearing this over and over again. I closed out uh, Pro Presenter, opened it back up, and everything's missing. I, or I didn't do anything and then stuff is missing. Well, it turns out with Mac OS Sierra, there's a setting which normally is very good. It saves you on hard drive space, moves stuff you're not using over to iCloud, except when it's not good. When you've got media that you're trying to uh, use in ProPresenter that is disappearing. So let me show you how to change that. And uh, we'll do that by heading over to my computer right now. One of the changes that Apple made with macOS Sierra is they have made it so that you can optimize storage on your local machine. That's good. But depending on how you have your settings set up in ProPresenter, it could cause problems. So by default, well, here, let's go to Preferences, up here, Command, Comma, um, we'll take you there, and this first general one. Look here, Library Folder is located in Users, um, or the root directory, rather, Documents, ProPresenter 6. Documents, that's important. Support files and media are not located in either the Documents folder or located on the desktop, so that should be fine. And the media repository is set to manage media automatically. Also should be fine if you have it set up that way. Not every church does, though, so let me show you why that could cause you a problem. So... When you um, leave Manage Media automatically unchecked, ProPresenter will not copy the media to this folder. So if it's on the desktop, which a lot of people, they'll just put it on the desktop. Here, uh, let me go ahead. I'm going to hide that and show you. I've got one right here on the desktop. Um, and you run out of space. Well, here, let me show you this. Here in System Preferences, we click on iCloud. Okay, and once that comes up, Notice over here iCloud Drive, so what we want to do is click Options, and this very first um, section here, Desktop and Documents Folders. If you have any of your ProPresenter stuff in the desktop, or on the desktop, or in the Documents folder, if you have enough space, you won't have a problem, but if you have uh, if you start to run out of space, look what happens down here. The full contents of the iCloud drive will be stored on this Mac if you have enough space. That's important. Older documents will be stored only in iCloud when space is needed. So, if this is checked, what happens is as you run out of space, could be a year from now, could be last week, whenever, if this is checked, it will start deleting big files and leaving them on iCloud where you can get to them, but ProPresenter can't necessarily get to them. So that could be a problem. So the way to fix that is either uncheck this and uncheck this, or 
Another way to do it is to go back to ProPresenter, back here in Settings, and change the path for all these and make sure Documents and Desktop are not included in this. And also for Media, make sure Manage Media Automatically is checked. Now what that does, of course, is it copies media from its original location and puts it in this file path right here, which, again, make sure that's not desktop and that's not documents. So if you do all those, that should solve that problem. But if you don't, you might come in some uh, weekend for your service or, you know, if you have a midweek service or a youth service, something like that, and find that stuff has gone missing and it will cause you a lot of problems. And as they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So best to get that set up correctly now as opposed to having the problem later. And if you have the problem, this is what causes it and this is how you fix it. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that now you understand why it's happening, how to change it, and how to get around this as a problem. Whether you want to change that in system preferences or change it in preferences for ProPresenter itself, either way should you give you the same results and should uh, solve some problems that you might not have for months and months and then you have them all of a sudden. And I hope now we've seen why that's the case and how to prevent that from happening. If you like this content, you'd like my email newsletter, so head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter. Sign up there. You'll get all sorts of tips and tricks and discounts to some of my courses. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with trinitydigitalmedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Hey, on your way to going out to change eternity, I want you to do this one quick little thing. Just take a second, click subscribe, and then click on the little bell icon to get notifications so that you can find out when these videos are posted and enter the contest that I'll have within the first 24 hours.